Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video I will share with you something I'm reading in the internet. Uh, before I read, uh, you know, always we hear Muslims, if you go on YouTube, you see Muslims talking about how bad is America, you know, uh, how bad is Israel, uh, Israel is breaking the human right law, uh, the Western, Abu Ghraib, you know Abu Ghraib? Hmm. You know, but the Muslims, they are not willing to tell us really the truth. If people, they are living under Islam, is there something it's called the human right? Do Islam believe in a human right anyway? No, absolutely not. This is why you see until now, none of the Islamic countries did sign the human right law against slavery. Simply because if you sign a law against slavery, you are signing a law against the Quran. Because the Quran approves slavery left and right almost in every chapter of the Quran. Now the Muslims always, they speak and they ask you for a freedom of speech. Freedom of speech! Muslims, they want freedom of speech. But freedom of speech to attack the Christians, to attack the Jew, to attack everyone. But if you insult Islam, it's not a freedom of speech no more. It's a crime. And the punishment is death. The Quran, which a book made by Muhammad, claimed it is from his God, from the first page in the Quran, the Quran starting the Quran by calling the Christian and the Jewish names. Al Maghduba alayhim waddalin. Allah he is cursing those the Jew and the Christian. The Jewish are the cursed one and we are the one is lost. From the first six lines of the Quran. So Islam actually is based by attacking others, but if you try to answer, you are a criminal and you are insulting Islam. Now in here, this is Islam Online, which is a very, uh, I consider it a very terrorist website. Every terrorist, he can express his mind there freely, you know. And I think it's hosted in America, by the way, because most of uh, uh, website run by a terrorist, it's hosted by America, same as a Jazeera, you can watch a Jazeera in Dish Network TV. You know Dish Network company, it's an American company. And they pay money to a Jazeera to broadcast in their company. And all of us, we knew what Jazeera you know, is, is for. This is a very huge network of terrorism. Iqra, which in Islamic TV, it's hosted by Dish Network company which all of us we knew it is a very Islamic terrorist company. Now in front of us, in Islam Online, this is a fatwa. If you do not know what fatwa is, it is a question Muslims ask for the scholars, and the scholars they answer according to Islam and Allah and Muhammad orders. So the answer is not according to him, this is an answer according to Allah teaching. This is why we call it fatwa, which means it's a holy order. I will post the link next to my video so everybody can take it to Google and translate by yourself and you can read. Post the link in Google translation tools, click translate Arabic to English and you will get the translation. Now I did take the page myself to Google translation as you see, you can do it yourself so you can read in English. It's you know the translation is not very accurate but it's enough to know what they are talking about. The rules of insulting the Prophet peace upon him. What is the rule? This is the name of the scholar, the Imam, he's a Saudi scholar, answering. What is the rule if somebody insults the Prophet? Simply, you can read by yourself and you will see that those who insult the Prophet or the apostate, they should be killed. But remember, Islam is a peaceful religion, it's a religion of peace, and Muhammad is a very peaceful man. But if you speak one word, you will be killed. And Muslims believe in the freedom of speech, by the way, don't take them wrong. They will kill you, but still you can say it. Isn't it nice? Talk to any Muslim, he will say to you, Islam means peace. And the funny, in here we are talking about, when we say insulting the Prophet, what does that mean? If you, if you just say Muhammad is not a Prophet, you are insulting him, you should be killed. 
This is mean we have to kill, if you are a Muslim now, we have to kill almost 5 billion human beings who don't believe in Muhammad as a prophet. Anyone reject Islam and reject Muhammad as a prophet, it means he is saying he is a false prophet. This is what, you, this is what it means when you say, I don't believe in Islam, it means you believe Islam is false. Simply, you are saying Islam is false, even if you don't see it, even if you don't say that. This is why the Muslims, they establish a rule for the Christian. You, wanna, you don't want to be a, 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 you know, a Muslim, you don't want to be a Muslim if you are a Christian, no problem. But pay money to the Prophet. Muhammad, he accepted them refusing him, accepting him as false, as long as they didn't say it by their lips and they pay him money, because he is a money worshipper. So, the Muslims who always speak about peace and love and the human rights try to fool like the black people saying to them, Islam is against, look what the white man did to you. The white man did to them? All of us we knew that number one who was buying and selling slaves in Africa was the Muslims in North of Africa, like Algeria and Morocco, etc. They are the one who was capturing the black slaves because they are not, because they are not black like, like African. They are white. They are Mediterranean. And they were you know, capturing the slaves and selling them to the white men in Europe. You can go and read the history and you will see that in yourself. This is how the Muslims play the game of slaves and the human rights and what the white man did and what, you know, when the fact it is totally the opposite. Islam approves slavery. Islam don't believe in a human right, and the Muslims until now, Saudi Arabia, all of those countries, United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Pakistan, all of them, they will never sign the human right law of United Nations against slavery. Simply because if you do sign such a law against slavery, you are signing a law against Islam, because the Quran approves slavery. You can ask any Muslim, if a Muslim have a war with other nation, can the Muslims take the other nations, all of them as slaves? They will say, sure, not only can, they should. It's not an option even, it's a must. And if they are a Hindu or Buddhas, the Muslims should kill them all. So what I wanted to say and share with you, in this page, the Muslims, they are saying that loudly and clearly when they speak in Arabic, but they don't see this mostly, we don't see it when people, Muslims speak in English. You know, you will see two faces of Islam. The one who speak in Arabic or Pakistani or Urdu, those, they, they show you the real face of Islam. But if those, they are speaking to Western, they provide you a nice picture of Islam. Islam is people who pray with peace, you know, like, you know, the video before we saw, uh, you know, they are showing you a pictures of a woman, she give you a very nice smile, and the little girl, she is smiling, and she is wearing hijab, very peaceful picture. This is what they want you to see of Islam. Like if you play any Muslim video on YouTube, they will show you roses, beautiful eyes of Muslims, you know, look how beautiful are those women, look how wonderful is Islam. You know, they try to show you an image, it's not exist of Islam. Actually, these women, according to Islamic law, she should be killed for taking a picture for her beauty. Because the Quran say clearly, the Muslim women, she cannot show any of her beauty. And what she is showing now, this is haram in Islam. This is her beauty. Where in the Quran it says that the women, she can put eyeliner and show her eyes. They should cover their faces. Until now, this is not Islam. Even this is not Islam. The Muslim women should cover her face. So, they put for you a nice picture, like 60 women. This is a way to seduce you now to go to Islam, you see? Look, this is a Muslim woman, she has blue eyes. So they try to provide you with an image about Islam. It's not absolutely, it's not what Islam is about. And the proof is the following, if you say something against Islam as I'm showing you in 
Islam online, the punishment is death. So what is the beauty of Islam you are showing us? Of if one of those women, she said something she don't like about Islam, what if she one day decide to take that veil out? Can you tell me what the punishment? Death. You see how beautiful?